Last up, Charles Hoskinson touts very significant performance improvements to the Cardano node. So what's going on here? The creator of Cardano, who also is a CEO of IOHK, uh, Input Output Hong Kong, noted that the Daedalus version 2.2 will be released on August 20th. And today is August 21st. So real quick, let's take a look at the actual website. This is DaedalusWallet.io, and uh, that was 2.2. Still got version 2.1.0. If there's some other place where I can download this, please let me know in the comment section because I'm going right to the website and I don't see it. And then my Daedalus wallet, when I open it up, it says the, the newest one is Daedalus 2.1.0, which is on August 7th, which I still haven't updated to, which I really need to do. Anyhow, that's what's going on. So if I missed it, please let me know. But Charles states, there are very significant performance improvements pending some formalities. IOHK's eyeing a Thursday release for all users, Mac, Linux, and Windows. He states, some aspects of the software are 100 times faster. And QA is reporting that everything looks pretty good so far. So there's still some formalities and last minute checks that need to be done. But if there's nothing discovered today, all things knock on wood, we should be looking at a Thursday release. And this was, uh, what was this put out? This was on August, August 20th. So uh, this was yesterday and it just didn't happen. Now, am I gonna sit here and poo poo all over uh, IOHK and Cardano and Charles for not hitting a, a, a date by 24 hours or 48 or 72? No, I don't. I'm impressed. I'm greatly impressed that they're able to actually do all these things and get to this point and all the different things that they had to do. So I was very critical of uh, Cardano. I mean, and everything was going on, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to give him a pass. And it's probably because I'm biased because I hold Cardano, just so everybody knows that. Um, but I do think that they're doing good things, and I think they're trying to do the, the, the right thing. So again, if they're off by a day, I'm okay. And now, if this goes on until 2021, they're like, oh, we couldn't get, couldn't hit this this uh, this time frame. Then I'm going to be like, what the heck's going on? You guys are we're doing so good. I do think Cardano is going to be big. I think it's going to be fantastic. I just don't know when it's going to happen. And here's the last part of it. He states, Cardano is also working on a multi-signature or multi-sig transactions. In fact, Hoskins tries it as a high priority. So first of all, what's multi-sig? Uh, multi-sig refers to requiring multiple keys to authorize a, this says Bitcoin transaction, but it's any crypto transaction, rather than a sig sig single signature from one key. Dividing up responsibility for possession of Bitcoins or any kind of crypto among multiple people, avoiding a single point of failure. That's the big thing, avoiding a single point of failure, making it substantially more difficult for the wallet to be compromised. And I, this would be only for people who actually opt in for an additional security measure. So uh, like I see it, like for me, like me and my wife would have to sign a key to actually spend any kind of cryptocurrency. I think that's fantastic. That's a great idea. I'd love to see that. But here's my final thoughts. I was on uh, Alex Mascioli's uh, live stream, our premiere, and he was talking to a bunch of guys who are way smarter than me and uh, do a bunch of things with TA and such. I'm not big on a TA, but I just like to hear, you know, the macro view of what's going on. And what, somebody asked a question. They said, I, I think it was Alex. Maybe it was uh, All Right Soft. I forgot. But they said, uh, which one will be bigger, Ethereum or Cardano? And I said, this is what I truly believe. If if Ethereum, if the organization of Vitalik, they can get ETH 2.0 to hit. Uh, remember, they, they have to hit their time frame over the next two years. I mean, um, stage zero just for the proof of stake is supposed to happen November 2020. So if they can hit that milestone, that'd be a big push. And I think it'll do pretty well. And then they have to hit the other two, phase one and phase two. If they can do that, um, it might be game over. But if they can't, and Charles and the Cardano Foundation are like saying, hey, we can do all these things. We can make it 100 times faster. We can use Hydra to make the transaction per second, you know, massively uh, increase it. And we can do smart contracts and we can do DeFi. There might be a little fight in the hands. And that is why I hedge my bet and I have both of them. Ethereum heavy, Cardano heavy. That's just how I am. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. And uh, that is it for today. So if you want to check out uh, Alex's live stream, it's pretty interesting on a link at the very end. Also, I want to say thanks to all my supporters. Really appreciate you guys and gals. If you don't know, there's a join now button underneath. You can click on that. It's like a, you don't get anything special. It's, it's like a, I think it's like a tip. It's like a buck 99. And I just do random shout outs for that. So uh, I'll do uh, MDR NA Samurai. I know I messed that up. Romain Maurice, Paul G. What do we got? Uh, Eron Rodriguez. I am not I. Who else? Joe Griffin, David Mills, and 
Timothy Dillon. So that's it. I want to say thanks so much for uh, stopping by. If you like these types of videos, there'll be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. Don't know what they are because uh, YouTube controls that just like they control those uh, maybe scammy ads you saw in the beginning or middle. Again, don't shoot the messenger. If you got a problem with those videos or those uh, ads, go talk to YouTube. They'd love to hear from you. And uh, that is it. So uh, thanks a lot for uh, checking out the video and I'll see you on the next